those folks, I'm out here. This is Senpai Tyrone Turner, uh, Sensei Buddha's assistant. He finally let me talk on this one besides getting beat up. What I want to do is I want to expand on something that Sensei showed before regarding the sharpshooter keychain. This is a wonderful invention created by Master Robert Moran in Massachusetts. If you go to sharpshooter keychains, you can pick up yours. Now this one, the version I have is called the Super Sharpshooter because the paracord is a little longer. What I did was I knotted the end on mine. I'll explain why in a second. Now as you can see, I'm hanging out here in New York today. It's about 90 degrees. I'm just walking around, bumming around, training a little bit. I have one like some beach sandal type things with my socks. Like all of the cool guys like me wear. Yeah, whatever. I just want to show you how to deploy this weapon. Because a lot of times, people, they have a weapon, but they never show you. It's not as if you're walking down the street with a Kubaton in your hand or the sharpshooter in your hand all the time. If it's a keychain, it's probably going to be in your pocket or for the young ladies in your pocketbook. So let's talk about how to deploy it. Now, notice I have the paracord hanging outside of my pocket, right? And I have the knot. Now, I'm going to break this down and show you in parts how this works. Have on my baggy shirt, at the paracord hanging. Now, since a Buddha has talked about things in the past, like the rubber dub, right? So, if something were to jump off, I'm going to rubber dub. I'm going to show you real slow. And right here, I could feel the knot on my paracord. I grab the paracord and I yank it out forcefully. Now I have the weapon out. Now I'm going to put it back. Everything is here. Now, if something were to jump off, folks, what I'm going to do, and me, I'm going to start rubber dubbing, right? And I'm going to get down, and I'm going to feel for it. I'm going to yank it out, and now I have it out, right? But this is not the proper grip. So what I want to do is I want to swing it around my hand. I have it here on my fingers. Now, I'm going to be moving the way I train anyway, and as Master Moran tells us, we want to put our middle finger, no disrespect intended, through the sharpshooter. So now I'm here. So now as I'm rubber dubbing and I'm doing my thing and I'm kicking or whatever, I can deploy the weapon. It's a formidable weapon. And you can be doing your kicks, everything that you want to do. This is a very formidable weapon. Us.